Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Big Head Mode on the Lounge video. I'm Ben O'Brien, I'm here with Carlo Ricci. G'day. Today we're on the lounge with Daniel Towns. Dan, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So Daniel, today you're going to be playing your favourite game, Ocarina of Time. Yes. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. Yes. We didn't even spruik out for a 3DS. We're going back no, to the original. No, the classic, the original. Yeah. Yeah, to start cool. you off, Daniel, very kindly we've put you right in the thick of the Forest Temple yes. uh, on Ocarina of Time. And it really wasn't until preparing for these uh, interviews that we kind of realised just how difficult some of these temples are. Oh mate, I can't believe it. I've, yeah, just playing it recently and it took me forever. I want to, I think I'm going to get it on my 3DS, but <laughs> <laughs> the, the games have definitely gotten a lot easier. Yeah. Would you say this is your favourite of the Zelda games, Daniel? I think I uh, definitely got a fun spot for it because it's the one that introduced me to the franchise. Uh, I, I like a lot of them. But this one definitely I have the fondest memories of because it's the one that introduced me to it. It's the one that made me go, oh, this is phenomenal. Look at the storytelling. Was now, it's, it's funny seeing you like do the Z-targeting. I remember that it felt so foreign to me the first time this game told me to try Z-targeting. Oh, it's the best though, isn't it? It's, like, it's just in so many games now and it's just like, it's like taking cover behind knee-high walls or, you know, regenerative health. It's just one of those video game things now that we oh, take totally. for granted. Oh, it's great. I mean, because before this, we were on a 2D plane, right? So you just run up to them and pop them, I guess, or whatever. But now, you know, if without the Z targeting, they can get behind you. Or, mm. you know, the, the amount of times I've played this game, you know, where is it? And I'll be like this, just thinking, where the hell is he? <laughs> <laughs> where is he? You know, you keep running around the edges of the room, waiting to turn around and hopefully lock it, lock it back in. Swing sword at a wall. Oh, totally. You lock it back in before, you know, before you die. It's funny, we were talking before about how, um, how difficult this game is. I think... Which I think is funny because the, um, the one hint system you have, being Navi, is the one thing that everyone hates about this game. Oh, it's really annoying. Because I found that a lot of the time when I was stuck, she didn't help enough. And then when she did help, it's like, I, I got this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Watch out, Carlo. Oh, this, this character's name is even Carlo. Did yeah, you, it's did weird, you? That? That's weird. <laughs> I always put Link. I put Link at everything. Yeah, I, I yeah, same. In. I get annoyed when people are... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. People are... Um, quick, quick, quick. Name Pokemon as well and then trade them. Like, yeah, and like, well, now I'm stuck with Bumface. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Didn't die. laughs> that guy's just having I, a whale of a time. Mate, this was my first venture. Well, I, I was probably a lot of people's into 3D gaming. Like, I think... was This, this was out before Mario, right? I think this was out... I think just after Mario. Yeah. Okay, well I played this before Mario, and so this was my first mm. game ever in a 3D... I mean, it was definitely a much deeper world than Mario. I think. Oh, totally, totally. Well, this was the game that got me into uh, gaming, and the reason was because at the very start of it, there's this cutscene where Navi bangs into a into a wall. She's too excited, and then she hits into this thing. And my mate was like, "Oh, there's this bit at the start where Navi runs into a into a wall." I was like, "That wouldn't have they wouldn't have that in a video game." You can't do it. And then he started the game. Never happen. And then I played through uh, Zelda: A Creative Time. That was. For you for the next yeah, month, you're just going. That's why I played it, just because I refuse to believe uh, that yeah, you could, awesome. you could uh, that would be in a video game. But a lot of the newer Zelda games, they really, they really hold your hand through them. Oh, you totally. know, like, mm. um, whereas this, there's no, there's no hints. And when this came out, it wasn't like you could just go on the internet and go, "I'm stuck in the forest temple. I need oh. to find a key." You would have to either find a friend who could recall how they got through it or like, when I was a Nintendo hotline. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to ring the Sega hotline to find out where the Chaos Emeralds were. <laughs> like, I remember so many times I'd ring them up, like, especially on, like, Sonic 1 and 2. Yeah. You know, where there was nothing. There was just a phone number in the back of the... In the back of the instructions. See, that would have been a sweet job. And I thought that's, a, that... that's a job that I could have done. Yeah. There you go, we got this. We got 20 seconds. Yeah. I reckon we'll do it with go time to spare. Side, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. And get that one, yeah. Come on, yeah. I oh god, I forgot the 10 second timer where it goes slightly off. Oh key. man, this is tense. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh. Yeah! <laughs> that's actually, that was that's like up. you're cutting the wire. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, get your shield out. Oh. <laughs> get out of there, get out of there! Just <laughs> <laughs> trying to throw it at him. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, so I'm really good at this game. What What do you remember from this game? So, oh, the like characters or story elements that really stick in your mind? The, yeah, the story and I guess the character growth, like the progression. Mm -hmm. you know, this is my introduction to Zelda as well. Like apart from the original handheld. series. Oh, apart from the original handheld, 
You know the little fold over on the Game and Watch? The Game and Watch. Oh, the Game and Watch. One of those? Yeah, you had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, no, that was nothing. That was just a little button. A lot of multiple choices oh, and that dialogue it. options. I'm going to get this on 3DS just to... It's really good on the 3DS. Really? Because yeah. they redid it, didn't they? They redid it. They completely rebuilt it. Um, there's like some amazing uh, landscape redesigns of this like, little grass and stuff when you go into the 3D movie. I don't think... Oh, yeah. yeah. You've trapped a fairy forever now. Did you guys it could have lived forever, like... but now it can only <laughs> live until you die. Did you guys always feel that even if you had like fairies and you had full hearts, you had to just run through all the fairies anyway? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't leave no, no pot unsmashed. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favourite place in uh, Ocarina of Time. Long on Ranch. Yeah. Actually, my favourite place in Majora's Mask was... Um, Let's go jump what, was, what was the ranch that Kremia owned? Um, well, with the aliens. Yeah. It was terrifying. I love that place. That place was terrifying. Kremia and her sister... Can't think of it. They were both milk puns. Like Kremia and. Hang on. Can, can we talk to that guy for a second? Sorry, you have to. I'm not, I'm not wrong here. That's Luigi, right? <laughs> he and his, he and his you know what would be fun in Zelda? Like a backwards game? Like where you could actually choose to be bad? <laughs> or like maybe play your game as Ganon? <laughs> like, and you play from Ganon's perspective. Wouldn't it be amazing if you played a, you played a game as Ganon and, and he had actually a much higher purpose and that, yeah. that Link didn't understand? You're He's like, trying to save the whole the universe. The ultimate evil is coming to Hyrule and I have to take over because the king's not listening to my petition. And this little kid shows this up. little kid shows up and he's like, Link, you got to understand that the Hyrule is actually corrupt and evil and only I know it. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't, don't listen to anyone, mate. <laughs> Ocarina out. Yeah. Click it out and go... Wow, look at that. Oh. And he got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's not claiming to know everything. Oh, I didn't learn it as a kid, so yeah. You never learned now. it as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, like, look. Come back. <laughs> this is pretty funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens, yeah, when you don't listen to your elders. Do, do you guys reckon that they could bring voice acting to, to Zelda? Zelda I wouldn't want them to. I, I, yeah is enough for me. I don't yeah, know. yeah. If you make a Zelda game and you make a voice for Link, they're like, no, nah, I always imagine Link How would he being talk? Mexican. How would you know? he talk? Or like, and you'd have like these Hello, guys there. who just Link flame here. like fans who are like, no, nah, we we have a forum and it's all about how Link is a Mexican dude. <laughs> and they would just to, to, to give Link a voice for me, I, I reckon it would ruin it for me. I turn voice acting off anyway. It's also a great way to learn languages with like playing Zelda games because like the Nintendo 64 one, you can set to French, German, oh, really? and Japanese. Mm -hmm. I think. Japanese. I just reckon, I reckon you could oh. cast Clint Eastwood as Link. You could do a pretty badass Link. Who would you do? Are you, see, tell me, they'd ruin it. See, he'd be like, all right, Zelda, <laughs> you listen up, you shit. <laughs> it would just mostly be, you want to hear that again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really say very much, Link. I'll just smash that guy with a That's, a, that's the, odd, uh, the odd thing, though, is that he doesn't really have a voice anyway. He has, like, three options sometimes when it's like, Yes, no, something insulting. And then yeah. they just respond as if he never said it anyway. Exactly. Where's Ganondorf actually from? He's a uh, Gerudo, isn't from he? From Gerudo, but how come no one else looks like Ganondorf? Oh, he killed them all. <laughs> it's the subtext. He killed all the green yeah, people. Yeah, there's a, yeah. like a small genocide between when you, like in the seven years that you're uh, in the temple. It's a real, real brutal game. <laughs> you got to read, read between the lines. A lot of people say it's too childlike, you know, it doesn't deal with any severe themes, but when's the last time you had the genocide of... Of a red-haired, mustachioed people. <laughs> when Nintendo. Nintendo had to wake up and go, alright, we might make children's only games, but... Not children's only games, but games that appeal to, you know, cartoon characters. Yeah. Like, they needed to... Man, like, when I got a PlayStation 3, oh, this isn't... Like, I love Nintendo, but I got a PlayStation 3, I didn't turn... I haven't turned my way on. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I played them all, and it's like I, I actually do want to play some adult games. That's the one there on the right. Like, I feel like everyone's got this nostalgia for Nintendo, but once you play like contemporary adult games, oh, totally. and you see the kind of things that other people are doing, oh, man. it definitely highlights where well, Nintendo that's why I needs think to grow. It's Batman. interesting that games like Zelda have any kind of lasting power, because I think it is more than nostalgia. I think they it, it was a game that really is designed for children, but it has a lot of staying power there. Mm. What was your least favourite Zelda? My least favourite Zelda is probably Twilight Princess. I think Twilight Princess was a really fun game and I loved, there were some great secrets in that game that just were never flagged, you know? Like a, a lot of secrets in games that you play now, they're just a glowing, there's a wall and it's yeah. glowing. Oh, or totally. yeah, you go into yeah, detective yeah, yeah. vision and it tells you yeah. where to go. Whereas in that, there was 
you know, like boulders and you'd blow them up and you'd find a whole hidden village behind it and things like that. But I just think that in terms of, they had all this power and they're like, we're going to make the biggest Hyrule ever. And it was also the most boring Hyrule ever. You just ride for ages mm. through just nothingness. Well, the travels, I mean, Wind Waker, even the travel in Wind Waker was a bit tedious. It's like, really? Like, this is what yeah. I'm doing here. I'm sailing the seas for how long? I think that's my yeah. problem. Everything Where since Wind Waker, like Wind Waker... Well, on the it was market. just a collection of islands, but everything felt really remote, which made sense for that game, but I felt like every Zelda game since then has felt the same way. Like, which nothing feels connected in the same way that yeah. it does in this game. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We've got <coughs> the arrows. We've got some arrows. You're sealed in there. See, so I feel like I've been... Okay, so now you just want to look in the pictures for where you see... But he doesn't know... He also doesn't come out... It's like of Dorian Gym. Gray. He comes out of another one as well, though. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there is. Oh, you get zapped! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, I've got like a heart and a half. This is a, this is this is a cracker. This is tense. All right, all right, he's coming. Get him, get him. Holy get him. shit! What's going on? What's going on? Here we go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Zed's hugging him. Just shoot. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 You've only got so few, Dan. I just shot. How many five? Five. Right. <laughs> Don't worry about Zed targeting in this in this battle. I think I can't remember. Because you can shoot him. Can you can you, can you, can you, uh, can as, you he, shoot as he's coming through that warpy thing? You just want to pop him with an arrow. This really you highlights right, how right. joysticks have evolved over the last fifteen years. Oh, this is I'm getting smoked. There you go. Dead. Is that me? Wow. Uh, Zelda, right. she's gonna have to go it alone, I think. Well, games have gotten a lot harder, <laughs> haven't they? Well, if you're looking for a lesson in life, games and life, they both end. <laughs> <laughs> As always, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, Big Head Mode 2 triple R, and the website, bigheadmode.com.au. Thanks for coming in again, Dan. Thanks for having me. See you guys next time. See you then. And remember, no matter how many games you play, you can always play more games. There's always going to be games, and games will keep coming out. He, he said it best. I One think. up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and just a, just a bent thumb. A slightly pixelated thumb. <laughs>